zombie in the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Got a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Who gave the order? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> you know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job that I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name! Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Go. It's all right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Sometimes you can't walk away please, from Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to him on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know. A name. Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. Ah! How's your memory now? Ah. 
Shaking, motherfucker. Shit. Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pop, 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 pop. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Definitely a viceroy. Here's the weapon, gunshot wounds. I got another corpse, another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, man. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? They're trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May Roger Stadium. Roger the pulls now by all Hayes and Nova, who ended with an outstanding 15 side record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big Bay Steel is on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sonova's watching them like a hawk. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonova pitches. That's a big hit! See anything? Nope. Quiet here. We've got a known vice boy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm coming up. Slow down this dude. We need you down there. Make sure we don't get in. He's not moving unless I give him a reason. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? 
Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole Bloody place down. Right, I'm stuck dude. unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do we all stay here? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, there's gotta be one around. Hey, you Alan? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. No. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a problem. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone. I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Tell you to leave it. I don't care. Gotta go. I just saw a bunch of cops fly by out there. That's a lot of sirens for a blackout. Shit, something ain't right. We should stay put. Glad I've lost vision on the suspect. I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Our info and finding Maurice was correct. We gave 
gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. An iron fixer to help me find the shooter. Jordy Kin. I'm skeptical at first because the guy is eccentric. He's got a motor mouth. He says I'm wearing a fancy suit to work. So far he delivers. Help me dig up a name. Maurice Vega. Sick of remembering her that way. It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. I need to get my mind off things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. of his call and he's mine. All right, he's here somewhere. Just move carefully, don't get spotted. Let the profiler do the work. I'm really close now. She must be the woman he's after. <laughs> this guy's close. I can feel it. We need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get I gotta away. stop him now. I'll scream. Oh, I'll... Yeah, what do you want? Oh, God. Hey. Oh. Stop! Oh. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party's starting. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this off. I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? 
Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Okay. Here it goes. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, five, six, stop. seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> It's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm going to speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <sighs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? Do you think blogging caller ID will hide you? I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me.
What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Sec. I need those CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> doubles their guards. I better double my weapons. A 
Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, running with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they served time in the military, but we could hardly reject that brave soldiers for proudly serving their country to you. Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. New security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. that that's inside someone's home looks like ctos is compiling every intimate detail from private citizens it's no wonder deadsec despises ctos that's it i'm hacked in what you mean you're in the ctos already I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler system's online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. Hey, I need you to cover something for me. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right, fine, I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me put you out. I said I'd handle it. It's a job, exactly. It's a delivery job. 
Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. Trace his signal back. I'll find him before he breaches my phone. There you are. You're mine now. Got him. That's one fixer down. Now, how many more are out there? Someone's taken an interest in me. Fixers are mercenaries. They work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. This thing shot the hell. Nope. My rules your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, man. Let's go. What the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh, man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye on it. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. That how your buddy wound up dead? Keep your head down. Uh, squad, we're gonna work the alleys and see if we can flush them out. Copy that. All surrounding bridges are still up except the wells. You've got support inbound on the wells. Come on, what's the plan? Talk to me. You need to calm down. You got the island locked up. Just stick to the back alleys, garages, keep out of sight. If you see me kill the engine and cut the lights, you keep quiet. Just be an old parked car. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. My hands won't stop shaking. You ever seen a guy shot in the guts before? Too many. To me, I'm freaking out here. Hey, maybe, maybe Eddie's alive. He, he, he took one to the belly. I heard that's the best place to get shot. Is that true? A wound like that can go either way. 
bullet doesn't go right through, you're looking at a lot more collateral damage. Listen, the cops are gonna want answers, which means your friend will get an escort to the hospital. You said you've seen a lot of gunshots. How many of them lived? Lived? Oh, fuck, man. They said you were good. You did it! Boss meeting us. He's not meeting us. Meaning you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Quiet now. It's all over, son. I got a release, right? That's what matters. It is indeed. What matters most. This is how the world turns. Not much room for fuck-ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck-up, dog. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, well, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? All your friends? Your girl? No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. And this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home. I've got something for you. We need to meet. Meet? What, face to face? Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. My bad. Ay, lo siento.
I've hired Bad Boy before, and he's always protected his identity. That's how DeadSec works. Now he wants to meet. That's unusual. All right, I'm gonna try and shake him off his game. Let's see what he's up to. Bad boy. What? Bad boy, 17. What the fuck, man? Bad boy, 17? Clara. Clara. You don't look 17. <sighs> Do I look like a bad boy? No, you look like a wild card. I hope I don't frighten you. What, do you have a reason to frighten me? Now you're being paranoid. Am I? Someone is fucking with my life. Threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen. I need to trust you, Clara. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, well, we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face to face for this. You wanted that sex as a max? You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. Mm. They do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Well, you stole it. <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get people hurt. Worst. <laughs> well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy sent the text, how do we find him? They work together. You with everything I just said. Me tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. Hey. Am I talking to Bad Boy or Clara? Let's make it easy. Voila. So we need to track your caller. But he's sneaky. He's bounced his address through a CTOS office tower. Client services, employees, and executives, things like that. An office tower? We need to find a way into the system. You get me in, I get you his location. I can get into the building where they're most vulnerable. Check out where they take deliveries. Looks like underground, in the tunnel. I'll start there. Hey, I'm sorry I was rough before. I know what you were doing, trying to intimidate me. Very textbook. Stepping into my personal space, the stare, physical contact. You are trying to look for cracks. So did you find any? Wouldn't you love to know? Time to open up my world. See what's ahead? The layout shows a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? It's a perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. 
tag their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll try it. Can you scan me the offices? Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Once I hack in, you move fast. Track her collar and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me. I'm telling you, it's not just an ad. It blocks my entire view. Just one enormous fucking eyeball. You try working with that thing. Oh shit, someone's hacked in. Oh fuck me, lock down the building. Find him now. Okay, I got you in. Can you track the caller? I'm searching now. Carlis, the police are coming. They've got high-tech scans that are hard to shake. You need to get out of there. are scanning me. I can't get clear fast enough. Does DedSec know a way to jam their scans? Wait. I think we do. Here it is. I'm sending it to you. Find my caller? I'm tired of this cat and mouse. I got your mouse. This call was made from an apartment in the loop. Finally. Just be careful, Aiden. The way he bounced the signal around, I think he wants you to find him. Well, I certainly don't want to disappoint him. my family wants to meet. He knew exactly how to get my attention. Fine, I'll take the bait. The data flows are split. There must be two CTOS boxes. this bellwether I knew you'd find me you always were one for 
a mystery. How are you, Aiden? Damien Pranks. The hell is he doing? I hope you don't mind the games. Wanted to see if you lost your edge. We need to talk. And, uh, you'll want to be quick. Breaking in like you did tripped an alarm. This isn't what I had planned for us. But we're about to be interrupted. Come find me. I'll pick someplace nice. Why would he harass my sister? We haven't spoken since... The Merlot. Looks like there's a new target for all you hitters out there. Drop what you're doing and get on it. Clever boy. Picks on me. Damien. Tell me you miss me. You had that punk call my sister. Why am I here, Damien? You're always so grim, Aiden. My God. Don't you ever loosen up? I want my partner back. Me at the computer. You in the field doing the manly work. both want the same things. Answers? Who attacked us? And I happen to know that you've hit a wall. Yeah, I figured. So, I come bearing glad tidings. The Merlot. The Merlot? Mm -hmm. The Merlot was your fuck up. Bullshit. You bailed on a perfectly good scheme. No one would have found out if you had just stood by me. Six-year-old girl. My niece died because you went too far. Oh, you're adorable. Blaming your family problems on me? Damien crossed the line, he made the bad man angry. What about me? What about you? You're not the only one suffering. They made me a cripple. They took everything from me. Don't you see? That's what binds us together. You got nothing I need. There was another hacker. There was a second hacker, and I know how to find him. And that may be, Damien. But you can't do it on your own. You need me. Your big problem is... 
I don't need you. Don't walk away. This is a lead. Thanks for the tip. I used to look up to Damien. Taught me how to ferret out weak code and exploit it. And I taught him how to do the same without a computer. People can be more vulnerable than their systems. We were a strong team. After Lena, I was done with him. I didn't waste time thinking about him. But now he's creeping back in. I need to know what he's got on the Merlot. A group calling itself DedSec is warning citizens that the CTOS network is vulnerable to attacks. The group warns that so-called hackers for hire could easily manipulate the system for the highest bidder, such as terrorists. You know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but... You have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden. I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. I promise.
house now. Need to find this guy. Where is he? Majority can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let the survivor ID me. Or everything's gonna spiral out of control. buildings is pretty tight so people like this feel nice and secure living way up here i mean these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door i guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way all right fine sure so about this problem well that's why i brought the bolt cutters he opens the door this much there's a chain right there i slip him in and snip and guess what it's not the pizza guy shorty the problem let's deal with it we are dealing with it we're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody's paying buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? Let's make this quick, okay? My balcony hosts are moaning, and that stuff gives me migraines. I get a migraine, Pierce. I am useless to you. You think you're the only one who wants this quick? How should I know what you want? Not big on empathy, are you? Not particularly. What's up with this fixer contract? What are they looking for? You. Somebody wants the vigilante, big time. They're about to fake a prisoner transfer to bust out the one witness who can ID you. I've never seen them gather up this kind of manpower, though. You know, I'll try and stop them. Listen. The witness knows my face. If the fixers reach him, if my name gets out there, they'll come after my family. Ah, the F word. You're too sentimental, Pierce. That's a weakness. Somebody's gonna play that against you someday. I'll cover you where I can, but I can't see everybody. All right, let's do this. You got a fan. Little help here, can't see.
Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Who's assigned to the prison job? What? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Lance Brenner. As a family. What are you doing? I'm asking you how your family is. Looks like you got two lives going at once. Family man. Yeah, the kids are gonna be in college soon. It's pricey for a union rep. Fuck you. Yeah, and there's also the second life. Ghost accounts with a lot of money in them. Hey. Do you know that your name is tied to a whole bunch of cold cases? I bet the cops would love a chat. Okay, hold on. You want a piece of the cash? I can cut you in. You're wasting my time. All right, all right! Fuck. Prison job. It's Angelo Tucci. He's running a convoy. If it's too late, you'll never find him. Who says I want him? I bet he's got a family in town. Why do you want his family? The fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't know where to begin. How bad? Remember Kinderhook? Shit. There he is. I got him. Listen, I need to find someone else. This time I have a name, Helena Tucci. She's related to a guy I'm after. Does she live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location right now. Got her. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. All right, I'll call you when I'm there. I may need more help. Okay, I'm at the Willis Tower. What do you got on Helena? Looking through her status updates. She likes selfies. Here she is making a duck face, a spiral face. She loves her cats too. Why are you targeting this clueless girl? I'm not. I need to find her uncle fast, and Helena's gonna point the way. posted a pic this morning, her outfit for the day, dark hair and glasses, and she's showing off a green backpack. Thank you, social media. That's a start. I'll keep digging. Oh, poor 
girl. What's that? I've got her medical records. She had an abortion last year. That might explain the therapist she's seeing. Why are we prying this deep? I don't need a history, Clara. I need a location. Hey, I start the search and information just comes in. I don't control the content. Hold on. Perfect. She just posted a status update. She's inside Connolly Square. It's a glass structure. Should be right near you. I got it. Nice work, Clara. Now delete those files. I'm dead sick, Aiden. We believe information should be free. Clara. Relax. We don't pick on innocent girls. Okay, Elena. You're up. Hello? Miss Tucci? I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. We received your Uncle Angelo's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Wait for it. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Angie. Elena! You need concert tickets again? No, listen, I got a weird call. I think the cops are looking for you. What? Damn it, you calling me just gave them a trace. Hang up now. Gotcha. Where are you, Angelo Tucci? There you are. Angelo Tucci. This guy's leading the prison transfer for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. Somebody wants my name. Well, good luck with that. I'm not uh, getting a little nervous here, Pierce. Did you find him? I'm tracking his GPS. I'll cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice. witness we're after he's a nobody he was in the wrong place at the wrong time he wasn't looking for me i don't want to kill him i just want him to understand i can reach him anywhere anytime that is a terrible plan i love it i'll find a map of the joint talk you through it once you're inside anything you need my phone jesus you have a problem you need to unplug jordy i need my phone they'll confiscate it the second i'm in yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I got just a guy. He's begging to settle his debt. Just get your phone.
Palin Correctional Center. They recently upgraded the place with Bloom's state-of-the-art security. Network locks, automated surveillance. If they were holding the guy in an older prison, I'd have a problem. But Bloom's right on this one. They do make life easier through technology. Jordy, we're even now. Don't move. Pierce. Hayden. Never again! Smith! I already told you, man. You ain't never gonna find it until it's stuck between your shoulder blades. Yeah, yeah, get in there. I got 20 minutes of rec time, motherfucker. Knock it off. Inside. Uh, obviously? Cut the shit. I should have sent you in here. This was your mistake. You might want to keep it down. You'll end up with a free trip to solitary. I can't get you out. I'm gonna find the inmate schedule. I'll be in touch. Jordy, I found the schedule. Where's the exercise yard? Up top. jobs with this automation shit. Keeley said his paycheck took a hit too. Blows, man. This totally blows. Mark. He's up here somewhere. Slim doesn't want to take any chances. Oh shit, man. How do I get in on that? Oh, Change of plan. Our prisoner transfer was a bust. So your plan B. What do you need us to do? Whatever it takes to get this guy talking. You got it. Oh man. You need to stop worrying about that dude. He ain't real. Hello. No, I didn't get you off the roof. Who says I have to be moved? Who are you guys? 
What about my lawyer? Where, you, where are we going? Answer Jeez, me! Sir, Show me the you paperwork! Shut up. Where's my lawyer? We're taking you to your no. lawyer. No! No way! Right after we clean what you are you up gonna do? first. I ain't going with a shut bunch of crooked up. fuck off! Damn, better reach him fast before they kill him. That's a problem. Some guards just took our guy. Fuck, basement. They're in the basement. Seems like there's quite the little crooked operation being run out of this joint. Look at you bringing justice back to the prison system. Floor's empty. Door's wide open. No silent alarms have gone off. Watch your back. Bottom feeders doing a state, doing a deal without cutting us in? Think we don't have friends in high places? They expect a cut too. <gasps> so, I, I told you already, it wasn't a deal. We got called, man. Double Fuck that us. trick. Stop lying. We warned you before. Think we won't leave you for dead too? I, I can't take the more. I'll tell you what I know. I swear. I swear. And your buddy? What happened to him? Where's he now? Inside, man. You know, it was pretty simple. These high tech security prisons, they make it quite easy, really. Have we met? What? Have we met? Uh, no. No, I never seen you, man. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think so. So you're in here for. 60 days. And good behavior, you're out in 30. <clears throat> what does that say? 60 years? What are you doing, man? I'm just showing you an alternate future. You know, in case you get the urge to share your stories or make a deal with the cops. We're clear, right? All units possible prison escape. Be on the lookout for white man, Joe Smith. I need a unit up to the laundry. We've lost communication. Copy. We're on it. Cordy, it's done. Fantastic. I'm guessing you're eager to get out of there. There's a care package on its way for you. Where? Don't worry. You'll see it. Requesting backup. 
Attackers. I want the one responsible. Damien bragged about a second hacker. Someone else inside the Merlot. I need to find out what Damien knows. A body was found on the south side this morning. Sources say it was an apparent mob execution. The victim is known to police and suspected of involvement in a recent heist. He's known to have ties to the notorious crime syndicate, the Chicago South Club. Aiden, we had a very unpleasant meeting. Well, I didn't kill you. We used to get along. I taught you so much. Look at you, big time hacker now. Is that you in the news? The vigilante? You mentioned a second hacker at the Merlot job. But we already knew there was another hacker. You found something new. Ah. Uh intriguing isn't it come let's meet and i'll explain tell me then i'll consider meeting oh no my information my rules besides we need to make up for last time i'm very excited aiden come soon You know what? Forget it. I don't need whatever you got. You brought me nothing but trouble. We're done talking. Oh, too late, Aiden. <laughs> you won't believe where I am. Never mind, I'll send you the feed. Find a TV and have a look. That's Nikki's house. What are you doing? You should hurry, my boy. Your pretty sister needs you. Damien! Damien, what are you doing? He played me. That son of a bitch played me and I let him. What's he doing, Nikki's? No, he won't hurt him. I'll kill him if he touches him. No, he has to know that. No, he's trying to draw me there. He wants me to work with him. And the guys who attacked us? Fuck that. I need to take him down. All of this, it's such a waste. You know, the real tragedy here is that somebody like you was surrounded by so many fragile things. It makes you fragile. Where? That, that's not how it works. You don't want to answer that. Yeah. Nikki, where are you? Nikki! Stop and think. You fuck around and she's dead. This is 
isn't how I wanted it. But this is where we are. If you'd listen to me, things would be different. Just tell me where they are. Where they are? There's only Nikki. That little boy. I don't know where he is. Now this is what's gonna happen. I point to a hard drive. I told you there was another hacker. That will lead you to his computer. Get it? And you'll find out who ordered the hit on us. What do you really want? You lost your right to question me. I want that hard drive. That's all you need to know. And that's the price for Nikki. Stop overthinking, Aiden. I'll need regular updates. In exchange, you get to talk to Sis. Quit pro and all that. This won't end well for you. Perhaps, but don't get clever. I really have no problem killing that girl. We'll talk soon, partner. Where is Jax? Damien doesn't have him. I hope he's got his tablet. There. He's on the L. Oh, shit. Someone's after him. There you are. I was worried. The dead sack hacks you gave me. Can I control the L? The train? Yes, but... I need that right now. How do I do it? It's locked. Hold on. I'm sending something. It's a zero-day exploit. The trains won't recognize the hack, but it only works once. Send it now. It's sent. What happened, Aiden? I don't have time. Meet me at the Owl Motel later, okay? Listen, this is important. Back at the house, did you hear those men say anything? Come on, Jax, talk to me. All right. We're gonna find your mom. Come on. Dr. Mendez speaking? 
Yolanda, hi. This is Aiden Pierce, Nikki's brother. Is everything all right? It'd be great if we could meet in person. I'm on the train with Jax. All right. Uh, do you know where Nikki drops him off? Yeah, we'll meet you there. I need you to be brave for me, okay? Men at the house said this. This is good, Jax. It's good. Sweetheart. What's going on, Mr. Pierce? Where's Nikki? No, it's been a rough week. She's forced herself to get rid of Lena's stuff. And, uh, I think she's finally saying her goodbyes. How bad is it? It's bad. She should call me. Well, she wanted me to call you. See, we we're wondering if you could look after Jax for a few days. We'll pay you, of course. Of course. I'll help in any way I can. That'd be great. Thank you. Nikki needs to grieve. I know it's hard, but it's a good thing. It's been rough. We're gonna work it out. Right? Hey, little man. We're gonna cause some trouble. Ah, let's go. See you soon. around Rossi Fremont, Mayor Rushmore today issued a statement condemning the violence and announcing a special task force created to investigate the situation. Residents of the wards were quick to respond, calling the task force a PR stunt that will accomplish nothing. How can I help you? Authorities at Chicago Correctional Center are triple checking their security protocols today after a prison break. Facts are sketchy, but we do know that at least one prisoner managed to make it past all security checkpoints. Thanks for the purchase! Fortunately, Chicago's finest apprehended the prisoner shortly afterward. John Smith, 34. Racine's in Brandon docks, and I got no CTOS access there. Yeah, I better hack the district control center first. Unusual graffiti has appeared throughout the city, and our own tech expert at WKZ speculates they are QR codes designed to deliver unique content to the more tech-savvy citizens. So if you're up for an adventure, keep an eye out for these curious symbols.
find out what you know about Nikki. Racine. Let's see where that is. Gotcha, Robert Racine. Well, I hesitate to say good, but I think in a city with rising gang violence and a notorious history, citizens need to feel safe. And he makes them feel safe? He gives the illusion of safety. People shouldn't think he's a hero, of course. What about his mental state? Is he just crazy? I don't like the word crazy. He has a purpose. He's someone who has lost control or feels out of control. In his mind, he's regaining it. He was probably a victim of a crime, and this is his way of lashing out. But once he's achieved that sense of control again, he'll stop. He'll stop. Just like that. Yes, just like that. Someone here was hired by Damien. Start with the owner, Robert Racine. And just work your way down. Stay cool, just keep your head. Jack, I'll check over there. Ah, bring the light. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Grab some men. We can't let this guy get away. to go for the kid. Did you think I'd actually pay you more? Now you've complicated things. Who's this guy after me? Did you send him? <laughs> I didn't send him, but I probably should have warned you about Aiden. You gotta help me, or I I'll tell him everything I know. That's exactly why you don't know anything. He's not gonna be happy when he finds that out. Fuck, man, what do I do? Whatever you can. Good luck. <laughs>
right? You got it. He'll feel this. once you have something useful to give me. Follow that IP address and then we'll talk. Right now, you're just wasting my time. Jamie knows me too well. Knows exactly how I'll react. I must have been planning this for a while. That man always goes too far. He'll hurt Nikki if he doesn't get what he wants. All right, for now, I'll play his damn game. I'll follow his IP address. But I'm gonna find a way around him. There's gotta be a way through this. Damien's all ego. He needs this victory. I'll give it to him. I'll find that second hacker and you'll let Nikki go. Do I believe that? Doesn't matter. Right now, I got no other options. Son of a bitch. Fucking Marla job. All right, Damien. Let's see if there's something you miss. Right there. It's me. You called me here. Shit. I have a lot on my mind. Yeah? Okay, come here. Take a look at this. Who is she? I don't know. The file's corrupt. Do you have any ideas how to make the video play? This isn't fixable. You need the original. I'm running a search on your CTOS access. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. See, I don't think he knows about this. He would have bragged. I know him. Who would have bragged? She might be a lead. Or not. I gotta stay a step ahead of him. Are you in trouble? Am 
an IP address. Yeah, he gave that to me. Can you find where that leads? What is all of this? Aiden, answer me. I'm not doing anything until... He took her, Clara. He, he, he's using my sister as collateral. Oh my god. The man we traced? Yeah. Damien, Damien Brinks. Uh, I can't help you. I'm gonna go. We'll talk later, right? After you're done. Shh, shh, shh. In the car. I'll finish here. They're going to trap us. out like everyone else when have i ever done like everyone else are we bantering it's been so long i'm tongue-tied savor it because you're not going to see it again lost my network i need some equipment not my concern you didn't want to work as a team this is your problem you figure it out but do it quick i need your head in the game hey sweetheart your brother wants to talk aiden jack is my baby okay He's safe. Where are you? I don't know. It's cold. I was blindfolded the whole way. I'm scared, Aiden. I know you are, and I'm getting you out. Look, I know Damien. He's not crazy. He won't hurt you. Just be careful around him. What do you mean you know him? He kidnapped me. He's trying to get to me through you. What? Time's up. My God, what did he say to her? The poor girl's in tears. Damien, put her back on. Do you want to continue this little chat? You follow that IP address and get me something I can use. Ta-ta. All right, she's safe. 
for now. She's somewhere cold. Maybe outdoors. I'll keep her talking and maybe I can find where she is. Does CTOS need a reboot? City Hall has been quick to downplay any problems with the CTOS network. This is despite numerous reports of malfunctioning systems throughout the city. Reports have come in of faulty traffic lights, power outages, and communications, to name a few. everything. My hard drives, my network access. All right, I need to get back online. Where's Clara? Be careful, Aiden. Don't pull her into this. Here. Thanks. Those men. Who are they? I don't know. Yeah, they must have picked up on the CTOS search. That's why I wanted to see you. DeadSec says that someone else has the system hacked. I took it, and I gave it to you. Now, hold on. I didn't give it to anyone. I wouldn't. We need to trust each other. You know what? I don't have time to serve you, Clara. If you don't trust me, there's nothing I can do. Someone shot up my motel room. My sister's gone, and I have nothing. You are not my priority right now. No, I know that. Of course. Do you know this place? Somewhere near here. It's supposed to be the first test site for CTOS. It is known as the Bunker. At least, that's how the urban legend goes. The Bunker? One with access to the entire city? Undetected access. I've done months of research on it. City planning, zoning documents, things they don't want us to see. There's a blank spot on every map, right over there. Yes. And... You've lost your damage deposit on the motel. It's fine. You need to find a way inside that bunker. Undetected access to the whole city. I could use a break right now. Somebody's been on that island recently. His name's Tobias Frewer. Tobias was one of the CTOS pioneers until Bloom fired him. The man is vraiment crazy. Or on drugs. Maybe both. He lives right near here. There's a homeless camp. He's homeless? He's got an underground shop hidden in there. DeadSec goes there for some of the more rare hardware. He can't forget him. He's paranoid and won't talk. I can be persuasive. I'll let you do the talking. You really want this place to be real, don't you? It is real. So you're buying into the legend. Papa used to take me camping in Mont Tremblant. He'd always say we were looking for treasure. I didn't understand then that he was stealing from the cabins. Gold watches, tools. The look on his face when it was something special. Like one time, I found an old rusted coin with a regal emperor. He said it was an ancient Roman coin, priceless. 
but he let me keep it. Said it was my door to a magic world, the whole Roman Empire. I guess I am my father's daughter. <laughs> Stars in my eyes. Well, I hope this bunker's real too. It's real. A gang shootout erupted at the Owl Motel earlier, resulting in a gas main explosion. No reports on casualties. There. Police are investigating. That's where Tobias runs his shop. Mostly black market junk. Sometimes you can find rare schematics, if you're lucky. He's not there. What now? Someone here knows how to reach him. I'm gonna have a look around. What is it? He's playing poker. I'll get them to deal me in. Poker game, huh? Let's see where you're hiding. There we go. Hold on, what's this? Someone else is tracking the call. It's gotta be fixers. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I finally got a lock on Fuer. I'm going to pick him up now. There they are. They'll hunt him down fast. I need to stop them. Legal poker out here. Who'd suspect? One of these guys is Tobias. Let's do this. Who are you? I don't know you. I, I, I don't know him. Relax. Are you Tobias? None of your business. I'll take that as a yes. N no, take it as none of your business. That's a nice attitude. Is that why Bloom fired you?
It ain't me you want. Hey. No. All right. I just need one thing, and then I can let you go. No. No way. They'll find out. I'm not one of them. Why should I trust you? Because I could shoot you and take you. Oh, that ain't an answer, man. All right. I don't work with whoever you think. No one needs to know about this conversation. No power to the bunker. They cut it. There's no power, you get it? Might as well call that place a tomb. All right. I can deal with that. That's all it ever was when you think about it. A tomb. Anyone that ever touched that fucking place. We all have one foot in the grave. But I... I'm okay. I'm safe here. Mostly. Sure. Bias. May I have the bridge remote? Please. I built it, you know. A remote. Yeah. That's what I do, I build. That's great. Let me have it. Yeah. Fine. Sure. Yeah, you take it. Great. Yeah, it's your funeral. That's heavy, huh? Trust me, man. It only gets heavier. Hey, listen. You need anything? I mean, whatever. You come see me. I build stuff. You do. end up a mess like Tobias. I'm being chased by the same people. Hell, I guess I'm homeless now, too. He was high on medication or something. That guy has got to be careful. He's got fixers after him. If they find him, who knows what they'll do. Hey, by the way, Maurice volunteered a location. He seems convinced you'll find something there. He says if you want answers, you'll have to follow his trail. Whatever the hell that means. Might lead to something, though, right? It will. This is good. He wants me to understand why he did it. You need to reward him with something, okay? What, like a uh, cookie? I don't know. Get creative. faith in this legend. And Tobias was pretty spooked by it. I'm not interested in the myth. And if it helps me get Nikki, then I'll use it. Did you find Tobias? I did. And? We played poker, had a nice talk. What did he say? Clara, it's real. I told you. Don't go in without me. I'm on my way. Don't worry. I still have to restore the power, and then we have to find an entrance. I'll see you soon.
two to go. I just heard the generator kick on. It's gonna need more juice than this. Can you look for an entrance? How would Bloom hide a place like this? I hope there's a secret elevator. You pull a switch and the floor drops into a hidden base deep underground. Underwater? We're on an island. Wishful thinking. Up then. One of the buildings. I'll keep looking. We're in. Can you get us online? In my circle, this is the fine of the century. If I fuck it up, you can take away my hacker card. Do you actually have a hacker card? Get us inside. Maybe I'll show it to you someday. I'm working on it. Wait for me. Why? It's perfectly safe. Nobody's been inside for years. Because I want to see your face when the door opens. <laughs> was right. DedSec would make good use of this. Clara, we need to make a deal here. No one can know about this. At least until after I'm done with it. Of course. Help me get her online. here. Can you get the lights? Fingers crossed. like Bloom took most of the hardware, but connections are the important part. Voila. Can we be traced from here? This is a secure site. By design, it's untraceable, unhackable. 
Yet here we are about to hack it. I need to know where this IP address comes from. Let me see. What's special about it? It's just a lead, that's all. How did they even find this? This is pretty well hidden. Doesn't leave any doors open. Looks like it's coming from the Rossi Freeman district. Viceroy territory. There. Surveillance. Use those to get a peek inside. Can you connect from here? No. They're completely off the grid. This is bizarre. Well, if I can't connect from here... I'm gonna connect at the source. I'll have you up and running before you're back. officials have begun an inquiry into defective traffic lights blamed for numerous accidents. Police are advising drivers to exercise caution when driving through any intersections. guys. Uh, are you serious? Ten million dollars a year and you can't catch a fucking ball? Kill yourselves, you pieces of shit.
You're off my grid and in the dark. Rossi Fremont. They had such big hopes for this place. All that did was bring the gangs together under one roof. Loyalty to your neighborhood just became loyalty to your housing block. What about everybody else? They got in line, or they got out. I'm gonna take a look around, try and figure out what they've been up to. Damien's IP points somewhere in there. These guys are running the place like a fortress. Never break in alone. Okay. I'll tap into their network, and we can get a look inside. Like. The Viceroy's have disabled the CTOS around Rossi Fremont. They got it completely rerouted. And it's not just the CTOS that's offline. This whole area. These people. Feels like the aftermath of a war zone. That explains why Bloom hasn't fixed it. Bloom has the money to deal with this. It doesn't add up. there. I'm thinking Chicago is seriously underestimating the Viceroy's. These guys know what they're doing. So things just got more complicated. Yeah. Now I'm worried about what we'll find inside. Connected. You'll be able to take into Rossi Freeman now. Thank you. 
for all of this. You really came through. Hey, I can't resist a good adventure. So I guess we're done. No. I'm just getting started. I need to get in there, find some answers, and get my sister back. And once you get your answers, what then? Then I find out who did this, and I make sure they answer for it. Every single person involved in Lena's death. You still there? Yeah. I'm... I'm here. Okay, I'll see you soon. You have what you need. So far, yeah. Okay, look, I, I, I understand if you're scared. I'm not scared. No one asked me to stay. Well, no one asked you to leave. You need to do better than that. <clears throat> I could use some help. I could use your help. Like a team? Sure, like a team. I'm not used to being a team. No, I'm not. Was that so hard? No. Let's go then. Sure. see what we can find. Are you sure that IP is here? It's in here on the top floors. How do we get there? We ride the cameras. Where, where is he? Come on, man. Like, I need to see him. I need to see him. You didn't hear me the first time. Look at that. Got the whole place custom wired. These aren't typical gangbangers. They're armed to the teeth. It's like a fortress. I don't see an easy way in. these machines from the chip car. Don't worry about that. We got it covered. We're more on top of shit than any law. Like Iraq says, adapt to change. That's the key, man. I don't know how much longer I can have. 
all the small time players who don't know no better. Cuts away my competition. But if you know what I know, and you can do what I can do, you take their hardware and you use it to protect yourself. Shit, my little castle here, it's got state of the security paid for by the giving taxpayers of Chicago. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> There. The IP address is coming from that room. There's a card reader on it. Shit. Keys hidden in this dog tag. Listen, ain't nobody stole from you, boy. Get your boss on the phone. Yeah, it'll take a few. It'll fucking take a few. Hey, but get your ass in here. What are you doing with that? I thought I told you. I just you thought did. that you... Like, this shit won't fly. You remember Grandma's poor dog? That ugly little fuck. Fat head. <laughs> always came running when you hollered for him, right? <laughs> but always kept pissing on the floor, too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you, you don't. Listen. It cost me business. And who do you think's gonna win between you and business? Yeah, I, Mr. Quinn's on speaker. Business. I don't see how you could get on the compound. Never mind near that room. Even the security locks on the doors are encrypted. That fat kid, Benbug, he's gonna go in for me. Just like that. And why should he help us? I'm betting he's one mistake away from a bullet to the head. So when he makes that mistake, I'll be recording. Nothing like blackmail to change someone's tune. This is getting complicated. If I can keep Damien focused on that hard drive, I can find Nikki. He'll slip up. I know Damien. I have to be patient. And right now, I need bed bug. I read the news today. Something about a high-speed chase near Parker Square had all the hallmarks of Aiden Pierce. Are you with Nikki? Of course. We read it together and... I highlighted all your signature moves. She was quite alarmed. She doesn't seem to know you like I do. Just get her on the phone. Now, now. The IP address. Yeah. There's something inside Rossi Fremont, some kind of small server hidden behind a locked door. And an army of gangbangers. Now you understand why I need your help. 
Have you found a way in? I'm working on it. Let me talk to Nikki. Was that so painful? Aiden. Hey. We're getting close. You'll be home soon. What's going on? This guy talks like you two are friends. We're not friends. Not anymore. Nikki, just... Don't listen to his bullshit. You afraid he'll give up your secrets? I got no secrets. <laughs> Seriously, Aiden? Do you expect me to believe that? I'm your sister. Well, shouldn't my sister be cutting me a little slack? Really? Oh, because I'm being held by your friend and you need a little slack. Well, it sounds worse when you say it like that. <laughs> Aw, have I hurt your feelings? I forget what a sensitive boy you are. You know me. Heart on my sleeve. Fun's over, kids. I hope your plan's a good one. Nikki does too. goes well. You'll never see it coming.
I see it, they gave it to us. It's our shit. We the police now. <laughs> you have the right to suck my dick. <laughs> Man, you nuts. You have the right to shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Better stop woofing, cuz. <laughs> Respect the law. <laughs> You know that's worth that much cash. Because you ain't got much time unless you pay up now, fam. Oh, you, you gonna threaten me? You don't fuck with me, man. You think Iraq won't hear about this, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, dude. Iraq? Serious? Iraq is your fucking problem. I, I, I. I mean, like, tell me what you know. This better be good. Look, it's simple. They gonna call you down to the bricks, and then they gonna kill you. That's bullshit, man! Whoa! Hey, hey! What are you doing, man? Come on, fam. just saved your ass, and I can do a lot more if you cooperate. What are the bricks? Look, look, just get me out of here, man, and I'll tell you. All right, pay attention. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker bug. Go, go, stay low. Siena Brick Factory. 
the brakes. Now you do what you said. Take that 500 and you get out of town. Talk to nobody. Look, that's nothing. I got you. This is bad. If Ben Bugs killed, I lose my way into Rossi Fremont. These foot soldiers don't mean anything to Iraq. But a weak link is no place in a gang. I've seen this happen to a few guys. They don't pull their weight and they get torn down hard. But if Bedbug can survive it, Joey's got what it takes. Iraq won't just save face, he'll embrace the kid. Show him off. Good timing. Your sweetheart Maurice was just moaning at me. Says you got it all wrong. He's a patsy. He was set up. Wine, wine, wah, wah, wah. Hey, do you mind if I drill a couple of rounds into his kneecaps? Yeah, I mind. You're so predictable. See if I do you a favor again. Actually. You need a favor. I'm setting up an ambush. I need you to bring me some explosives. Can you do that? I can do anything. Do I want to do it is the question. You... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, you know what? This is great. Yeah, let me round up the boys and I'll meet you there. Oh, what is that? Come around back and find out. <sighs> Told you, it's bringing the boys. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought you meant the explosives. Then I would have said I was bringing the girls. But I brought that too. No, I need some help. I was hoping you could involve these guys in a gangland shooting of some sort. I got a few loose ends I need to tie up and, you know, you do owe me those favors. I don't owe you anything. Give me the explosive, something I can carry. Fine. These two nutsacks are some unfinished business from a Gabonese job. You should have seen the way that they tried to take me out. I am driving this beast of a muscle car right out of the 70s. You know when an automobile accident was still called a fucking car crash? Let's go. Yeah, so these geniuses here think they're gonna ram me off the road with some plastic eco-friendly shit bug. It just makes this weird ping. Bounces off into a park van. Here, hold that. Great. <clears throat> Thanks. This is what I have for you. It's a uh, sticky ball. See? It sticks. Cool, huh? So these two idiots are sitting in their car moaning and whining. They're all fucked up. I don't know whether to laugh at them or scream at them. Finally, I just pulled out my 45 and slammed a couple of rounds into their fat faces. So that's what I have. Deal with all this for me. No way. We can just do that. Do that. Yeah, it's like a like a practice round. What do you think, fellas? Practice round? Jordy. I don't need a practice round. No, just let me get a little clearer. Jordy! Fuck. up and then he's mine Escape plan. 
There. You didn't blow yourself up. <laughs> Not yet. Just trying to figure out where these guys meet so I can have some surprises waiting for them. Ooh, booby traps, fun. Must do the deals right here. Friends can't come to the phone right now. They're dead. The fuck? Hey, who's still standing? Anybody? Come on, man. He's getting away. He'll report to Iraq. The bedbug's as good as dead. Why'd you hang up on me? What the fuck? Man, who are you? Just another player. I had a job for you. But it's not a job for Tyrone. It's a job for Bedbug. I'll be in touch. Man, but what, what is this? Ah, come on, man! Hey, somebody's after me. Yeah. They're all dead! You, you gotta get me out of here. You fucked in the head, man. Yeah, listen to you. Let me go. No, 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 wait, wait. Shit.
this shit, please! Well, you play along like a good little bug, and I will. I'll be in touch. <gasps> Why you keep calling me, man? You're gonna get me killed! Tell me how to get close to Iraq. Uh, 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 you ain't getting close to Iraq, man. Uh, forget it. He never comes out. You want to rethink your answer? Uh, uh, wait, wait. He'll be at Quinn's auction. What kind of auction? Private. Yeah, like, like, uh, not your normal kind of auction. Uh, the invite only. So get me an invite. Who do you think I am? All right. All right. I'll be in touch. Be ready. Help save our planet. Practical everyday tips. Please, help, help save the planet. How did it go? Did you find a way into IREX building? Yeah, bedbugs on board and waiting for my call. Let's talk about the access card Iraq was wearing. That's our only way into his room. It's an RFID tag. We can clone it, but you need to get very close. Bedbug says Iraq's attending an auction. That's my chance. The auction, yes. Remember that briefcase Iraq had? Hard to forget. Crush the guy's skull with it. Right. He said it had the guest list inside. You can thank me now, because I've been tracking that case. Now let me check. That was quick thinking. If we get that briefcase, can you find me a name on the guest list? A name I can borrow. Exactly my thoughts. I'm sending the briefcase location now. recent opinion poll shows that people are rallying on the side of vigilante suspect Aiden Pierce. People are even offering to protect Pierce. However, Chicago PD warns that doing so could lead to criminal charges. I do, it's moving. Wait, I can't believe it. What? Quinn's guys are pulling some old school gangster shit. A briefcase swap, really? Do those actually work? Never seen one of these. Why are they doing this? Did they fool CTOS? Anybody watching through a monitor would see every swap. They're trying to confuse the detection software. Interesting.
You got the case on a boat heading up river. You got a bike here, I'm gonna follow. Maybe I can see where they're going. Give me a sec. What do you have nearby? My guess, this will be a short trip. There's another drop for another pickup. Okay. Nope. Nope. Wait. There's an old marina. Bought by Lucky Quinn in 1967. That's gotta be it. Says it's been closed to the public since the 80s. <laughs> Sending the guest list from the case. Whatever this auction is, the club's not taking chances. Security will be tight. Okay, so we'll find you a suitable identity. Not a regular. Someone from out of the country. A guy they won't recognize. Okay. Okay. This one. Can you pull off a Mr. Pang? I don't think so. Any Europeans? Nicholas Crispin. 32 years old. Expat American. Hasn't been back in 12 years. That's the one. Oh my god. They list his preferences. This man is sick. And filthy rich, too. Will anyone miss him? What do you mean, miss him? Clara, if I'm stealing his identity, I can't have him around blowing my cover. I can't keep him alive. Oh. No, well, I guess not. My sister's missing, Clara. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her. Listen, if this is too much for you, you can walk away. I'll understand. No, I'm fine. Nobody's going to miss this dog. This is a good match. He's supposed to pick up his car at the dealership. All right, I'll meet him there. Okay, okay, this shit is on. What is that? Not my problem. Hey! Yeah, looky, looky! 
check my cookies. Woo! I'm about to take off, ladies. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Who's got your daddy right now? Uh, yeah. I can see you through my telescope. Uh, uh, yeah. Work it. Ah. How much of this data is CTOS collecting? Where's it stored? What are they doing with this? Hi, this is Aiden, Jack's uncle. I want to make sure things are going okay there. First, I want to know if things are okay with Nikki. We haven't heard from her. She's still working things out. She just needs a little more time. Well, Jackson misses her terribly. She should at least give him a call. I can tell he's restless. He's not happy here. I understand. And I'll let her know. You have any problems with Jax, anything at all, if he wanders off or anything, you call me right away. I will. You take care of that sister of yours. Yeah. I am. Quinn is in the news again, this time for his charity work. Today, representatives of the Merlot Hotel announced a fundraiser event coming to the hotel, which is owned by Mr. Quinn. to disappear. color you'd like, so, um, you can take whichever.
destruction. Looks like Crispin was on his way to pick up something called the Poppy Special. It's at a club called Infinite 92. Infinite 92. No official listings. I see mention of it in some thread here. Oh, looks like it's a gentleman's fetish club. Underground, of course. So the Poppy Special is a woman. That fits the profile Quinn had on Crispin. I doubt Poppy would have survived the meeting. What kind of auction is this? I think we both know the answer to that. I'm going to the club now. Crispin's invite is there. Crispin's as fucked up as they say, I'm gonna draw attention. Just find the auction invite and get out. The poppy special. Very good, Mr. Crispin. A signature dish prepared especially for you. We'll hang on to any weapons. Mr. Crispin, right this way, please. What happened to the guards assigned to you, sir? They couldn't keep up. Mr. Quinn wanted to ensure you're comfortable. On his behalf, we offer you a special gift. Please. Enjoy as much as you like. You're my special gift, eh? What's your name? Poppy? I know about you. What you do to girls. No, it's not. It's okay. I'm done. Mr. Crispin, is everything to your liking? You interrupt me again and you're next. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just come with me. I can help you. No. They'll find me. They said you were a monster. You're not Crispin, are you? My name is Pierce. That phrase yet, but I mean... Uh, and then he goes to take me to my cell, and on the way... Break him? Uh, break him. This place is a success because of me. Get that in your gun. We hope you'll come back again. I need a favor. I gotta get Poppy out of this place. Call Infinite 92, pretend you're Crispin's assistant. Tell them I insist that Poppy be delivered to me at the auction. Yes, okay. She'll be there. I'll make sure of it. Maybe Crispin had to die, but at least we can save this girl. That's something, right? I'm not sure we can add things up so cleanly, but we're gonna get her out. Auction. Rack somewhere inside. 
Security's gonna be tight, and it won't be long before someone reports my mess at the car dealers. Just find a rack, scan his dog tags, make a clean getaway. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. Something tells me it's not gonna go down that way. Sorry, Mr. Crispin. We need your weapon. Wouldn't want to be rude. Not a scratch. Mr. Quinn said you like to see the raw merchandise. I'd like to know what I'm paying for. I asked for my merchandise to be delivered here. Where can I find Poppy? Mr. Quinn got your request. Don't worry. She's here. I have to tell you Mr. Quinn's rules, though. All payments must be made in cash or through a secured account. If you want to sample any of the girls before they're open to bidding, you gotta pay a small fee. Premium girls are off limits. Don't want to lower the value if you get me. Yeah, I get you. Make sure it's a quiet night or we aren't gonna be able to keep the other boys from shutting you down. Our clients are low key. Yeah, yeah, why are the payment already? Being this close to gangbangers gives me a rash. As you are handing over the option security to the rank and his men, the Viceroy's. They've done well distributing our drugs to the addicts of the wards. I promised to rank that reward if it came through for us. Well, he has. So his men will run security for the entire event. All goes well on them. This is Mr. Crispin. We're taking him to meet Mr. Quinn. They won't bring all the merchandise on stage at once. It's on my schedule for the private show. Each one of them is with tags. Keep things official. If you guess what to watch for my call, fight to call the city stage. How else can I get a full appreciation of what you guys do? Step aside. Mr. Quinn's waiting. Mr. Quinn is up there with that rat. Do another pass. Final call on this bid. The raise. Any other bids, gentlemen? Y'all do respect. It's your man gonna Any miss it. Shit all risk now. Extra security ain't we enough. We should've bid. canceled. The risk is allowing yourself it's to be seen as weak. Relax. Do what you have to do. Any other bids, Don't make a circus of it. Open to My men are stretched. Your men are expendable, Mr. Bid was raised. Business must proceed. In the meantime, Final call on find out who killed my men. Final call. That's all. Sold. Mr. Crisp. On to the next item on your tablets. Excuse me. Of course. All right, I guess it's all right. Mr. Quinn, unfortunately, I can't stay. Enjoying our little pageant? Final call on this bid. Well, which one? The one down there up here? Final oh, call. My associate, Mr. Iraq. Sold. He's a loyal soldier. But he is Moving young. On to the next item on your what do you see when you look down there? Well, I see. Bidding has opened. Someone flexing his we have an opening bid. Mr. Rank bid sees it as an auction. He sees rewards. Any other bids, gentlemen? Experience has taught me not to be manipulated. Bids are still open. Another bid received. Not to back down. Open to raise. I don't detect the next time, Mr. Christmas. Final call on this bid. Final call. Sold. Life has taught me a great many Moving things to get to me the next time among your tablets. And luck had nothing to do with any of it. Bidding has opened. We have an opening bid. Final call on this Mr. Bid. Crispin. 
you to trust you. I know we're leaving. So come here. Closer. Moving on to the next item. Tattoo. It's a tracking device beneath the skin. It's also very efficient for business. I can scramble with some. That's it? Yeah. Heard them talking about Crispin. They know something is wrong. You need to get out of here now. Through the basement. Come with me. No, I won't leave my friends. Okay. I'll send help. Someone's there. You better fucking come out. going on at the Barrows and Brandon docks. All units, we have a report of shots fired at the Barrows and Brandon docks. Please respond. Good. Cops will find those girls and get them someplace safe. As for the bidders, when he slip past the bus, they'll end up on my plate eventually. wandered off. I'm very worried. I was going to call the police, but I wanted to call you first. No, no, th that's good. He does this sometimes. He's stressed. He likes to ride the trains. Don't worry. I know how to find him. Please call me once you know anything. We really should involve the police if you can't find him. It's going to be fine. Really. I was worried Jax would do this. He's not a kid that sits still. He's got a lot of his uncle in him. Been searching for his mother. Where would he go? And there he is.
for you. What's Jackson doing in here? It's that racing van. Damn it, he thinks his mother's here. This place is mob owned. After the auction mess, these guys will be on high security. Get you someplace safe. Come on, Jax. Come on. There's so much I wish I could explain to you. I'm sorry about all this, Jax. I know it's not easy. Look, Jax. When I have to deal with these bad guys. I need you someplace safe. That's what makes me strong. I'm like the healer. Yeah, you're just like that. Except that's just a game. I'm warning you, if I don't hear from his mother soon, I will call the police. It's time. Yeah, man, uh, I appreciate 
did what you did for me at the bricks, man. Iraq couldn't believe it. But he did believe it, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, he's all proud and shit. Look, I, I can't risk pissing him off again, man. You understand? There's a bar near Rossi Fremont. I'm leaving something in the trash. It's a wire. Go get it. Listen, uh, you spooked him at the auction. Now, nobody gets into the upper floors without his permission, including me. We'll be discreet. Come on, man. <sighs> Fuck. Bedbug better come through. Putting a lot of faith in this kid. I don't know if he's up for the job. He's the cleanest way in right now. Let's hope I don't kill him. yourself lucky because I'm having a really shit day. I gotta get inside that building and stay very close to Bedbug's signal. If we lose communication, that could panic the kid. I need to keep him calm. enough go my finger's still on the play button if i think you're stalling me if, if i get caught he trusts you you made sure of that what's on iraq's floor There's one room I racked on that nobody inside. You're going in today. No, no way. I can't. Um, listen. It's got some security door. You're covered. Just get your phone near it. You're going inside that room. I ain't no snitch. I don't talk to the cops. Good. I'm not a cop. I'm so scared, man. Just listen to what I say and move when I tell you. I'm gonna watch out for you. Oh, okay, okay. Move it. I'm going. Go, quickly. Oh, fuck, bro. Fuck. Relax. How old are you? At 19. I'm 19, man. Jesus. You're still a kid. Grandma says I was always big for my age. What the fuck is this? Okay, now. 
Go, go. Why are you hanging around with these assholes? And my family. Well, I thought they were. You got family? Yeah. Kids? No. You? Probably. Oh, shit, man. Don't make me laugh. Okay, move. Okay, now. All right. Through that door. Them locks ain't no invitation. Just get close enough. Only a rat can get in, man. Hold up a sec. Need to look through your camera. Computer's through there. So, why are you doing this, man? This, this ain't your world. It's complicated. We got plenty of time. Iraq was involved in something that hurt my family. I want answers. That ain't so complicated. Stay there. Wait, that's not enough. Go back. Hey, bro, what's this shit? Look, 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 it ain't what it looked like. What it looked like to you, because it looked like a super sass fucking betrayal to me. How the fuck you even get in no, here? No, hold on. No. I love you, man. You know that. Uh -huh. Who bought you? Quit? No. Don't you wait, man! Don't you lie to me! No. Don't you fucking lie to my face! This how you repent me for taking you in! Come on, cuz! Don't look at family! You know it wasn't me! He, he, he made me do it! What the fuck? This is real, come on! No, 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 You got something. It was only a partial download, but I definitely got something. It looks like this computer is full of blackmail on everybody. Just listen to these full of names. Police chief sex tape, Bloom CEO bribe, CTOS breaches. Rack's sitting on the most dangerous weapon in the city. No wonder the cops stay away. He's probably had a chat with the police chief. Can you see what's inside the folders? Not yet. I'm trying. Is there a folder for the Merlot? Merlot. Yes, there is. Good. I'll be there soon. Hey. Hey, is this thing still work? Bedbug, you're alive. You need to get out of there. I am out. I, I, I just thought maybe I could help you get your answers, you know, uh, about your family. Uh, that video we saw on the screen, Iraq asked me about it. Uh, asked me what I knew about uh, Rose Washington. Rose Washington? I don't know who she is, but that's the girl in the video. 
Iraq says she's dead. Okay, thanks. That might help. Yeah. Yeah, you and me? We done? We're done. You did good, Bedbug. He made a lot of noise at Rossi Fremont. Please give me good news. Iraq's got dirt on a lot of people. His computer's full of it. Everybody from politicians to CTOS execs. The Merlot is in there, too. I knew it. I told you it was there. It's encrypted. I don't have access to it, but that video we found at the Merlot? The woman's name is Rose Washington. Rose Washington. I know that name. Wasn't she with CTOS? Aiden, you fit paid her. I followed your IP. Now give me my sister. But we're just starting. That video is important to someone. Important enough to attack me, to attack your niece. Careful, Damien. Come on, I know you want to follow this to the end as much as I do. That wasn't our deal. Oh, but it was. You said it's encrypted. Then your job's not done. No, you're not gonna do this. I can do whatever I want. Hey, it's me. Nikki, how you doing? I'm tired. They're taking care of me, I guess. Just come get me, please. Okay, there's other people with you. All right, that's fine. Just be ready for anything. I'm coming to get you. I need to see Jax. How's he doing? He's... He's a brave boy. He takes after his mother. But he's stubborn like his bullheaded uncle. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. Doesn't take no for an answer. Time's up. Ta-ta. I should have expected this from Damien. He's working an angle. He wants something more. All right. One thing at a time. I'm gonna need the rest of Iraq's blackmail. Then I got leverage. And then I can deal with Damien. The blackout of 2003 was a warning. Critical city infrastructure needs to reside in a demilitarized zone. Eleven people died because the city gave away its control. A hacker demonstrated a flaw in the power grid. Hacker Raymond Kenny is a hero, not a villain. Chicago CTOS is vulnerable. Citizens are vulnerable. Take back control. Everything all right? Uh, I didn't get much. The upload was cut off. Shh. I knew it. Okay. I have to find a way in myself. Are you crazy? <laughs> Even if you did get inside there, we can't read it. It's encrypted. Well, what am I supposed to do? Damien has Nikki. Just tell him he can keep her? Of course not. Of course. I'm not saying that. But he's playing you. Yeah. I'm not gonna give him this before I know what it is. Damien cannot be trusted. I know that. All right. Well, let's just... Let's just deal with one problem at a time. All right? If I can get this information, can you decrypt it? No. It's way beyond my skill. Then who then? Hey, what about that, uh... That crazy guy? Uh, Tobias. He used to work here. Okay, that's where we start then. Okay, but we need to be discreet. I know how to be discreet. Sorry. Okay. Wow. Wow. Raymond Kenny. It has to be him. He was a software engineer hired for the CTO startup. He created the encryption. The creator always had a backdoor. Well, he can decrypt it. Kenny is crazy good. <laughs> I bet he built this room. He's a genius. No, no. I mean, a legend. I'm guessing legends aren't easy to find. He's way off the grid. No one's heard of him in over a year. Uh, he's left me somewhere. Okay. Everyone has a history online. We start there. 
to get Kenny's last known point and work backwards. He's been gone over a year. This could take a while. There. He's covered his tracks very well, but he's bounced through one location a few times. So we trace it back and we find his location? In theory, yes. You'll need to reach that point and connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. And we'll have Kenny. If we find Kenny, you need to be careful. He's a very dangerous man. Dangerous, huh? What's his story? He's a Bloom whistleblower, or a cyber terrorist. Depends on who you ask. Delivered his message by blacking out most of New York State. I remember that. 2003. Not just New York, that was most of the Northeast. Killed a couple of people. He killed 11 people. He called it a software error. What the hell was his message? Kenny was trying to warn everyone. He didn't trust the people inside Bloom. But I don't think he expected anyone to die. Now, he's in hiding. And we're about to find him. The place you're going is the very end point of Raymond's last signal. Hackers hide their locations by routing their packets through buttons. Yeah, it's a good trick. I've tried it myself. He's probably bounced his signal all across the globe. We'll have a problem if that signal ends in China or some faraway country. No, he's here. I don't care if he's gone off the grid. If this is Kenny's ex-Bloom, something tells me he wants to stay close to the action. Maybe. But if he really was in Chicago, why has he been so quiet? He's not the kind of guy to just sit back and watch. You said he killed those people. Must be a pretty price on his head. Good reason to stay underground. Aiden, we might have a problem. I'm picking up a lot of chatter about Rem and Kenny. That's strange timing. You said this guy's been dark for a year. I think we might have alerted someone when I find Raymond's signal. So we'll have company waiting for us. All right. Someone's on to us, Clara. Let's make this quick. What am I looking for? Connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. Wow. Old school shit. No wonder good cops can't shut the club down. Clara. It's online.
I know, I'm on it. I'll shut them down. Hurry. What I need. We're ready. You're actually going after Ray Kenny. I can't believe we found him. I haven't found him yet, but we're close. He might not even help, you know? If he decrypts those files, he's exposing himself. This guy was a whistleblower. You said those files had blackmail on Bloom. There was blackmail on everyone. I think an ex Bloom radical would find that hard to resist. When you find Ray Kenny, what do you have to offer him? We've seen what happens when we dig. If he helps us decrypt those files, he's exposed. I'll find something. There's a reason he's hiding. Here. He turned against Bloom, exposed their abuse. I can work with that. You're going to threaten him? No. A whistleblower wants justice. He may be looking for a cause, but I can definitely give him one. Hello, partner. I was just chatting with Nikki here. Saucy girl. You touch a hair, and I'll snap your neck. No surprise your siblings. She's a hothead like you. Why are you calling? She's wondering if you're coming to collect her. I said I'd check. I found someone who can decrypt the data. I'm all ears. His name's Raymond Kenny, an old CTOS developer. He's in Pawnee. I'm heading there now. Well, that is news. But I'm gonna use my veto here. What veto? He created the encryption. Raymond Kenny is also a whistleblower. He's going to unlock all those juicy files and put them on the goddamn news. You know what secrets are when they hit the news? Worthless. I'm warning you. Find another way. There is no other way. You want this done, you need to get off my back and let me do it. Damien sounded worried. He's after the blackmail in those files. What's his game? What's he planning to do? Can't let him distract me. Kenny's the answer. He'll help me decrypt everything. I'll get Nikki safe. I'll need network access. I'll hack the Pawnee Control Center, then I'm good to go.
Honey, soda pop and apple pie. Yeah, but this small town charm is bullshit. Most of it's refugees from the city. Still hiding from something. I used to bring Jax and Lena here once in a while to fish. We never caught a single one. They never seemed to care. Yeah, some of my best memories are from here. And my worst. last known signal came from that marina. It's too easy to expect he's there. It's a start. Damn, that was sloppy, Pierce. Stay sharp. All right. Someone around here received the reset code. Satellite dishes. This looks like an abandoned CDOS station. The power's still up. Kenny must have piggybacked off this. Thank you. 
Jed is the owner of Jedediah's Bar, Pawnee's number one watering hole. <laughs> Maybe the only one. I hope I catch the man sober. I was hoping you could help me. Looking for Ray Kenny? Never heard of him. Hope is a sad thing. What are you drinking? Pay the man. Hundred dollars, cash. Damage deposit. Yeah. I'm not really a cash kind of guy. This is going on your tab. So. What do you know about Raymond Kenny? You aren't very social, are you? Don't want no trouble, T-Bone. Never mind him. He's all kinds of cranky. No appreciation for artists. Artists my arse. Moody drunk, more like. Drink. Never mind the bartender. He's an all right Joe. Deep down. Really deep down. What'd you say that name was again? Raymond Kong. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> you owe the man a hundred dollars. Now that the introductions are out of the way. Listen to me, pal. I'm warning you. You being here puts me on the goddamn map. I have some information. Well, ain't you special? The problem is... I can't decrypt it, so I came to the source. Shit. Then you have put me on the goddamn map. We've been careful. We? <laughs> Better give me a reason. Because that isn't making us the best of friends. Someone ordered a hit on me. Cost my niece her life. But whatever's in those files will lead me to them.
I'm gonna find him with and without you. With you'd be a hell of a lot easier. Let's play make a deal. You think I'm in this dust bowl because of the uh, ambiance? Ever since them bastards terminated me, I've been trying to find a way back in. All I need is someone to drop some spyware inside their network. If it were that easy, you would have done it a long time ago. Hey, if it was fucking hard, I would have done it a long time ago. It's impossible for me to even get at the perimeter without setting their damn alarms off. The place has my biometric profile. I got feelings in my head that sing to their security team direct. I can help you with that. But afterwards, you're gonna come with me to Chicago. Oh, am I now? <laughs> Follow me. Nice place. You got a real eye for art? That there is a booby trap. And if you can't recognize one, then you ain't paranoid enough, friend. I have quite a few. And well, if you found me, then it's only a matter of time before others will too. So let's get started. Listen, I'm running on a limited time here. The faster we can get this out of the way. I don't think you understand your own conundrum, my friend. Chicago is running on software designed to find people. Now, I know how the CTOS thinks, because I'm her deadbeat daddy. And she's still carrying my picture in her back pocket. Now, unless you can clear my biometrics from the system, I am useless to you in Chicago. And as far as my art, as you call it, if you fuck things up for me, I need to be ready for the fallout. Huh? Here. Let me show you. Ready? Heads up! Well, hello! You feel that ground shake? Whoa! That set my spine straight. Give it a go. Yeah. Ain't that something? Hey, if you blow your arm off, I'll sculpt you a new one. Your confidence is encouraging. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I here to boost your morale? Go, team, go. I think you misunderstand our relationship. I see an opportunity. You can help me, I can help you. I think you're missing the point. I found a sad drunk at Jed's bar toasting his glory days in private. I'm not an opportunity. I'm your second chance. <laughs> well, hell. I think I like you. But it don't make us friends. First thing I'm gonna need is some of Bloom's hardware. I've been out of the loop for a while. I need to figure out how their scanners work. You want me to break into Bloom? Not yet. Somebody else already stole the hardware. Inside job. Well, that stuff's big on the black market. I've scouted these guys. Let's just say they're big fans of the Second Amendment. Take one of my rifles. You're gonna need it. Swing by the gas station for me, will you? I got the Pawnee militia holding what's mine. So I need you to go in and grab me my truck.
getting slower. Are you kidding? You actually got it? <laughs> yeah, I got it, but they're still on me. Oh, crap. Well, uh, what do we do now? Uh, what's that yeah. supposed to mean? I never expected you to actually get the damn truck. If you want the truck, you're gonna have to do better than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bring him up next to one of the sculptures. Run him off the road! We'll have a little round of art appreciation. has been making noise. What kind of noise? It's online. Some people have noticed. Script kiddies, mostly. Nothing to worry about. I'll make sure they stay out. We've been probed a few times. Probed? <laughs> there is only one that worries me. His name is Default, and he's very good. I'll watch him. Let me know if he becomes a problem. <gasps> All right, I left the truck for you. God damn, this plan might actually work. Alright, now, you're gonna need security clearance to get inside Bloom HQ. Have you ever chased a helicopter? And no, that is not a philosophical question. I've been chased by a few. What does that have to do with anything? Call it a hunch. We'll talk soon. So now I need security clearance for Bloom HQ. Everywhere I turn, Bloom's involved. These guys are up to something that's a lot more than CTOS. I hope Tebow knows what he's doing. Okay, we're positioned. Now what about these helicopters? Wait for it. Go, don't lose it. Chopper's gonna lead us to the security chief. And Bingo was her name, oh. Hovering over a trailer park. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Wait a minute, it makes perfect sense. A lot of the Pawnee militia run security for Bloom. And a lot of them live in that pit of paranoia. And one of them's the security chief. With full access. I can hardly wait. You remember that bunch protecting the truck? Same gang. The Pawnee militia is made up of preppers. Survivalists, anti-government types, my kind of people. Which means they won't fuck around. Cold, dead hands, and all that crap. I'm sure you'll get a bad performance from it. Then it's just a matter of time. On your mark. Get set. Hey. Just keep 
got our access to Bloom HQ now. Damn. I'm sorry I doubted you. Why would you doubt me? I'm a realist. Listen, I'm coding a dirty little virus to erase me from their system. Damn, I'm good. And then I waltz into Bloom with my access and your code. What's security like? Oh, good point. You might call it... thick? Yeah, well, let's thin their numbers then. You tracking any of their truck deliveries? Of course I am. Send me the routes and let me make some noise. Pawnee Militia is made of security contractors. That means when they fuck up, they lose business. If I create some fuck-ups, they'll send more men. That means less of them at Bloom. Let's see this route T-Bone sent. And these guys are on a pretty direct path. Lots of opportunities for me. in Chicago. You got your virus ready for me? More or less. More or less? More. It'll work. I think. What does that mean? I'm walking into the lion's den. Don't be dramatic. You reach their servers, this thing will work. And you're the legend Claire has been raving about. The what? The uh, who? Never mind. T-Bone's coming with me to Chicago. Had to breach the building. Room's head office. Security specialist. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. And I'm a giant blip on their radar. But once I'm done here, I got Raymond Kenny in my back pocket.
over there. Keep your eyes open. I don't get paid enough for this. He's buggy as shit. wiped and the spyware's in. Yeah, I'm getting pings already. Good job. Now get out of there. In a sec, a name came up on the server. Someone I know is in the building. I'm gonna check it out. Don't screw around, Aiden. These guys ain't country yokels. I'll be there soon. Even the vigilante wasn't done. 
I know. I know the people upstairs will never allow it. But they don't have to know. And Kenny is right here. Damn it. Damien's gonna fuck this all up. Why can't he see that? We need Ray Kenny. Gotta get him out of this. Except the militia's coming for you. Some days I should just listen to the voice in my head that says, stay in bed. Some days, yeah. Jesus, tap dance for Christ. All right. Let's hurry the fuck up. I'm holding you responsible. That's fair. We need to get moving. Shit, I'm gonna have to blow the whole place up. Mm. I need to arm some more traps. Oh. I'm gonna have to lick it shape. Oh well, let's kick it, man. <laughs> Follow me! Bomb's in place, but it ain't ready. The detonator needs a few seconds to reach its charge. I need to make sure they can't deactivate them. You got earphones? What? Exactly. Need some appropriate music for the occasion, my man. All right, let's get it. Have to do their job.
you it was all gonna go to shit, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Here, you wanna do the honors? Wait a second, go, go, go. Hang on. For my portfolio. Go ahead. Sorry about the attack. Don't be. I try not to get attached to things anymore. Because I'm used to losing them. Yeah, I need to learn that. I don't let go very well. Oh, I'm at Mount St. Helens right now, believe me. But that don't mean I'm not grateful. Despite that setback, I'm a free man now. I owe you. Now it's back to Chi-Town. So, you got a place for me to stay, man? Uh, we're... Squatting in your old CTOS station. Not the bunker. <laughs> well, that'll do it. I can't wait to pick apart these files of yours to see what's caused all this hullabaloo. That data can't leak, T-Bone. I'm trading it for my sister. You got nothing to worry about. You did me a solid. Now it's my turn. Feel that? That's the weight of trillions of bots of information at your fingertips. Well, you are gonna have to lay low here for a while. Uh huh. What's this all about? I don't know. She's somehow connected to an old job. Someone doesn't want me to find out why. Well, you want to tell me what happened? Corporate espionage, crooked cops, big explosions, honey. And you are? This is Clara. Clara, this is T-Bone, otherwise known as the legendary Raymond Kenny. Really? We can't all be pretty in this game, honey. No, I... I, I mean, I... Wow. I'm a fan. Oh. Enchanté. All right. What happened? Well, Damien was there. What? How did he know? I don't know. He was working on a deal of his own. Something with Bloom. You never told me that. Hang on. No, hang on nothing. You better tell me what you're messed up in, all of it, or I ain't decrypting jack shit. Now, Damien and Bloom. You don't need to worry about that. I'll decide what I need to worry about, Aiden. You listen to me. I want a name in that server. Now, our deal is I bring you the information, you decrypt it. Hmm. Well, then you got a big problem. Hey, we need your expertise. The server is using your encryption. We need Raymond Kenny. Are you sure you're going to be able to get this data without getting caught? No. Yeah. Finally, some honesty. Well, you better get going then, man. Claire here can fill me in on a few things. Thanks. Honey. Uh, my condolences. I'm going inside Rossi Fremont. I need your help. 
You don't pay me enough. I'm not entering that death trap. You don't have to. I need you behind the scope. Again? Ah, it's more reasonable. Hey, you won't guess where I am. You're absolutely right. I'm watering your plant. Maurice, put him on. <laughs> what? What? Who is this? <laughs> if you don't talk, you don't leave. Oh, no. Come on, please. I got no name. You don't understand. I'm trapped. I can't stop. I can't stop seeing that little girl. She's just... She's just, just looking at me. Shut up. I said, shut up. All right, Weepy. Back to your corner. Jesus. Pierce, what did you say to him? You'll meet me there. Rossi Fremont. Of course. I'll be in place. No bed bug this time. I'm going in alone. Seen the layout? I know the room. The rack's in there somewhere, and it won't take him long to realize I'm coming. He knows what I'm after now. This time I leave with everything. I'm a Rossi Fremont. Yeah, I see you. Are you gonna tell me why we're fucking with these guys? Do you care? Uh, not really. There's a computer inside that... No, 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 it's okay. I really don't care. I was just trying to make some small talk. This door open? We're working on it. T Bone's got an idea. Yeah. They're running my encryption on the security doors. It's kind of hard to finagle remotely, but your Wonder Girl here? She just had a damn good idea. If you can cut power to that door, it's gonna default to the base code for about half a second. And you know the base code? Yep. I wrote the damn algorithm. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs>
This is Iraq's leverage, his blackmail. He's been collecting this for a long time. There, that's everything. Hurry back, Aiden. T-Bone's decrypting it now. I'm on my way. I got a lot of shit raining down on me. <laughs> Stop right there. I'm not about to let you get away with this. You've been fucking me up, snooping in my shit, right? Interfering with my plans. Iraq, you're all dead. It was you. You were the other hacker in the Merlot. That there is my currency. My masterpiece. And you're trying to take that from me. You took something far more valuable from me. I took from you. Motherfucker, I don't even know you. Quinn's lapdog. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I seen your type before, man. Self-righteous motherfuckers. I tried to encounter people off the battlefield. Now, I'll make sure you get back to your family. Maybe one piece at a time, huh? And when I'm done, they're next on my list. <laughs> what you got, wife and kids? 
Take every file you have. All of your hard work, gone. We're lots of slick hotel. Bunch of rich white motherfuckers just waiting to pay us. So you take it from me? Eventually someone's gonna take it from you too. The secrets get passed around. And all sorts of people are going to die for the secrets. That's the curse of power. Not us making a deal. You picked the fight, Pierce. Let's play it out. Iraq was protecting a tinderbox of blackmail. But he was after something bigger. He wanted the video from the Merlot job. He never did find it. Well, the Viceroys are gonna regroup, and a new leader will step up. And Bedbug? He's got a chance to get out now. I hope he takes that chance. any progress I know what I'm doing I don't need you on my shoulder but I think you do we've always been stronger as a team you know that it's not weakness to admit it let's face it without me you wouldn't have the data and you have it don't you yeah all of it I want Nikki my god I was right to bring you in you see we did it now bring it to me directly no one else Some call him a criminal, while others say he's a hero. What we do know is that he's the vigilante who's been roaming the Chicago streets for months. Just who is Aiden Pierce? Our research has come up with conflicting reports. We have some evidence that he was once married, but then another report says he's never been married. We know he has a sister, but then some say he also has a brother. There's no evidence to back up most of the speculations. One definitive fact is that a young girl, Queen appears, was killed in a car accident. An accident that some police say was a gang hit. If this is a relation to Pierce, 
Was that the incident that set this complex man on his quest for justice? We have a lot more to learn. We'll keep you posted. Let's do this. Hey, see this? Nice work. <laughs> There's so much, Aiden. Hmm? Yeah, we just gotta sift through this stuff and find a name. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Because this mess has a shitload of names. Every one of them tied to some crooked deal. Dirty cops, the club, greedy moguls, even your stand-up do-gooders. Iraq was planning to blackmail the whole city. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's this? Is this off the server? Oh, hell! Somebody's trying to hack in. We'll lose everything. Shut them out. Now! What do we do? Follow that signal back. If we can find the source, we'll get access. Hurry! Oh, come on, man! It's the malware stray! I don't know who he is. I had a guess. That looks like I, I wanted to tell you. Nice work. Names, please. Are you planning to hurt them? When has that ever bothered you? I trust the amount is satisfactory. Damien Brinks and Aiden Perry. Aiden? Someone's knocking. Claire. Aiden, he's trying to delete our ship. We're gonna have to shut him out fast. Aiden, come on! your loins, I'm killing the power! Aiden. Who was it? Warden. If I knew, I'd tell you. I swear I would. I'm so sorry. Get away from me. <laughs> Shit. Can you trace it? Smart ass just hit us with one hell of a virus. He copied everything we had and wiped it from our systems. He knew exactly how to shut us down. I gotta go reboot the backup tower. Without it, no default. No default, no data. I'll go. No, 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 no. I'll go. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, man. You know what, Aiden? You're gonna have to stop Damien. Just a little while longer. And I can handle Damien. I'll call you when I'm done. Good luck, amigo. Rat boy just made it personal. Whatever game he's playing, this default, he's putting Mickey's life at risk. He picked the wrong time to piss me off. Right now, I gotta stall Damien. minute you call 
call me with promises, then nothing? Not a peep? This time, we're gonna meet. In person. How old-fashioned. Do you have something for me? We'll talk. Oh, shit. In that case, I don't have the data. Damien will know the second he sees me. Maybe I can make that work for me. He told Bloom he'd deliver what we found, including the blackmail Iraq has on them. Yeah, he's painted himself into a corner. You didn't bring my data, I didn't bring your sister. We're so predictable. made a deal with Bloom. Where did you hear that? You have a problem, Damien. See, that deal hinges on the hard drive. What are you gonna tell them if I give you nothing? You're forgetting something. Your sister lives or dies in a phone call. Hmm. Then kill her. You almost had me, Aiden. You're not thinking it through, Damien. That deal has sealed your fate. If you kill Nikki, you get nothing from me. You think Bloom is gonna give you a pass? They're gonna send fixers to hunt you down. So right now, I'm the one who decides your fate. Get my sister on the phone. We really are partners, Aiden. Like it or not, We need each other. Aiden? You okay? Are you all right? I'm scared. Please tell me that Jackson is safe. Yeah, he's okay. Look, Nikki, I'm... I know. Please don't let them... You know something, Aiden? I'm tired of you not taking me seriously. Next time I see you, if you don't have my data, she's dead. Shit, man, I not hang around. Jeez, look like he was like do it. Hey, guys, guys. Shit. It's the guy from the news, look! Do not approach the suspect. He is considered armed and dangerous. Damn it, Damien's hacking these billboards from somewhere. There, WKZ van. We gotta shut it down. You're making this too hard, Aiden. Don't force me to show you up. You got nothing to show me. Wrong again. You know those fancy tricks you do with CTOS? I've been watching and learning. Wanna see what I can do? This is when a deal with the devil gets me. Don't let them catch you, my boy. That wouldn't be good for sis now, would it?
damage. A patrol SUV has been dispatched after the suspect. Talk to Nikki. Your sister? Is she doing okay? We're gonna get her back. I think I know how to find her. I heard a PA sound in our call, way in the background. The voice said something, a name or a place. You think you can clean the audio? Try to make out what he's saying? Yeah, audio wizardry ain't my thing. Then send me what you got. I'm sure I can do something. Okay, I'm heading back to the bunker. No, 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 no. We got one more job. You won't believe what I found. Default's love shack. Let's take back what he stole from us. We've got Default's location. Now, we'll take back what he stole. If he sells Iraq's blackmail on the open market, this has all been for nothing. Whether it disappears or it goes public, I'll have nothing left to offer Damien. T-Bone, wrap it up. Forget the toys. We gotta get you out. steal the data back? And he won't know it. Thinks he can fuck with Raymond Kenny. He has no idea who he's up against. Okay, 
right now. Here we go. Go, go. I'm not looking to get shot off like one of those. Take the car and get out of here, quick. I'll call you when I'm clear. Don't get yourself killed. Oh, shit! Okay, fuck. Yeah, hey, car. Today, as Rossi Fremont was rocked by an explosive shootout, the escalation has reached a frightening level, with gangs reportedly using military grade weapons. Mayor Rushmore has ordered a task force to sweep the area. The Ambrose. Nikki and I used to catch a movie here. Not just some dance club. Default must know we tripped his alarm. Yeah, he's probably expecting me.
Just keep him in range and T-Bone will hack in. Something about that video was dangerous enough to attack me and my family. you want to know, I've never seen a contract with more zeros on it than yours. They want you bad, pal. That's nothing new. No, no. Trust me on this. This is something new. You've pissed in everybody's beer now. You need to leave Chicago while you can, because the fixers will catch up to you. It's only a matter of time. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna ignore it, but I thought I'd try. Hey, buddy. I got good news. I think I got a future as an audio wizard. You cleaned up the audio, I said. Have a listen. Grant and Alter, the boy in the office, Brent and Alter. Nikki's call came from the same place as that little public address. Brent Ulster. This is good. I'll run a search on his workplace. Nikki's there. I know it. Go get her back, brother. For over a year, we have warned CTOS is vulnerable to attack. We have warned CTOS against you. Our sources say that CTOS had a massive breach. Your privacy, your health, your safety, all is in danger. Corrupt power has stolen your lives for its own gain. WKZ-TV's recent opinion poll shows that people are rallying on the side of vigilante suspect Aiden Pierce. People are even offering to protect Pierce. However, Chicago PD warns that doing so could lead to criminal charges. Nikki. 
finally. And Damien doesn't know. Okay, just move carefully. We'll have her guarded. I hope she's ready to move. Now watch yourself in there. It says here the joints hire fixers for private security. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Yeah, I'll hack in under the radar. They'll never know I was there. Nikki, it's me. Aiden! Oh, where are you? There's men everywhere. The, the guard here, he just... Uh, I don't know what happened. Listen, I know. I'm getting you out. I'm gonna stay on the phone, and I'm gonna walk you out. No! They'll find me. Nikki, there's a gun there. I want you to pick it up. Just in case. Oh, God. This is crazy. Aiden, I don't know guns. <laughs> We gotta move. Listen to my voice. I think I killed him. Nikki, listen to me. We're gonna move now. I'm gonna guide you every step. He was still breathing. The guy I shot, I think he was still breathing. Should we maybe call 911? Stay low. What if I killed him? I, I think I killed that guy. I, I didn't mean to. I just... It just went off. Move it. Listen to my voice. Right now, we're gonna get you out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, quickly. Oh God. Okay, let's go. That's impossible. Move. This kid's All place right. has five fail-safe redundancy. <laughs> Go, go. Just make a run for that car. Get in and drive. Don't look back. All right. You're in the clear. But we need to get you and Jax out of town. Jax, it's okay. Oh, God, he said, he said you were dead. He said he'd kill me. Where's Jax? I need to see him now. Not to spoil the plans, but company's on the way. Chicago police just got a big tip on the vigilante. This all a game to you, Damien? Oh, sure. It's just a game. I'm in it for the yucks. You've disappointed me, Aiden. We were partners. You blame me for what? Ambition? I blame you for your greed. <laughs> uh, I need to go. Your hypocrisy is stifling. Drive safe, partner. The cops are hungry to catch you. I'm coming to pick you guys up. Get your stuff together. I'm trying to pack light when we bring what you need. Okay, we'll be ready when you get there. Mm -hmm. 
Aiden Pierce manhunt had a breakthrough today when citizens spotted him in the middle of downtown Chicago. It was a bold action. Some citizens believe the vigilante was demonstrating that the police are inept. What do you think about police efforts to catch the vigilante? This guy stands out in front of everyone, and they still can't catch him? He's making a point. He's a criminal, maybe even a murderer. Why haven't they managed to catch him yet? We can't let criminals think they rule our city. It's only a matter of time now. Once this murderer is caught, Chicago will be safe again. around us. I need to get her away, safe, before it's too late. Come on. Yolanda said she's gonna call the police on you. Get in the car, let's go. Tell me you were set up. Tell me! I found him. The man who hurt her. I know who it is. What? Nick, we're out of time. We need to go. Now. Come on. All units, this is squad. Air support is approved and inbound. Let's flush them out. Jax, keep your head down. The high-powered patrol cars been Why are we dispatched running from the after police? suspect. They can help us. No, they won't help us. But why? Because they're after me. Yeah, but we can explain. We can tell them about Damien. I'll, I'll tell them everything that happened. Nikki, listen. If we're caught, you don't say anything. Right now, I'm getting you two out of the city. You'll disappear and stay invisible. I'll take care of Damien. No, you're not making any sense. We don't have anything to hide, do we? It's complicated. So, everything I saw on the news, the, the, the murders, May Stadium, that, that was you? Oh God. And since I've been gone, what, what did you do to get me out? I did what I had to. Everything I know is in Chicago. It's my home. And now, just... start again? I thought things would be different. I hoped. Things will be different. I promise you. No more promises, Aiden. Where are we going? I'm getting you and Jax. Away from here. And then what? We can move out of state and stay with. No, don't tell me. Don't tell anyone. It's over. For you guys. But not for you. It's okay, Jax.
Didn't have to be this way, but what other options do we have? Are we okay? Remember when we were kids? And I would... follow you? And you'd try and get away from me, and... stupid me, I kept trying. I didn't like your cars, or... hockey. And your friends were gross. Yeah. I followed you because I idolized you. Like Jackson does. And I kept hoping that you walk me around, but eventually I just hoped that you would look back. All I can say is I'm sorry. I'm not following you anymore. I know. <laughs> All right, sweetie. We're leaving now. Say goodbye to your uncle, Aiden. Are you coming with us? No. Your uncle's staying here. Bye, Jax. Found something that'll shed light on who you're looking for. Are you ready for this? Probably not. We'll play it anyway. I want you to run an errand for me, Mr. Iraq. Right. Their name and address for this errand, Mr. Quinn. Blinks and Pierce. Make a strong warning. Get the family if you have to. Sir, yes, sir. What they do? Not your concern, Mr. Iraq. It was your talk. And I'll let you be in charge of the auction next year. He's one cold son of a bitch. Fucking Quinn. It was just supposed to be a fast job, a big payoff, no problem. Fucking mob boss. It ain't my place to tell you what to do, but in case you're wondering, Quinn's got some charity thing going on. At his hotel, the Merlot. Nikki'll never come back. I've driven her from her home, from me. I know she's safe. They're both safe. Now, Quinn, lucky Quinn, he's brought all of this on us. He's the ghost I've been chasing. Well, now he'll answer to me. because of this place. Because of Lucky Quinn. He ordered the attack on me. On my family. Well, he's gonna tell me why. And then he's gonna die. It's me. Where are you? We should meet. I've always made my money finding information for people. The harder it was to find, the more money I made. You didn't know what they do. I'm going to fix things. There's nothing to fix. I'm sorry, Aiden. Clara, what's going on? What are you gonna do?
warned you. Politicians are not capable of brief speeches. <laughs> before, before becoming mayor, even before I was in politics at all, <laughs> Lockie and I go way back, way back. What I know about Lucky. Funny, you know. After knowing him for so long, I only recently just started calling him Lucky. Where, where was I? Not many know, as well as I do, how big Lucky's heart is. Generous to our city. And now with his charity, stretching around the world, his generosity knows no bounds. I'd like to propose a toast. To, to Lucky Quinn. Mayor Rushmore, everyone. Thanks very much, Mayor. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Thank you for helping a great cause. My husband's contributed a large sum in the past to the cause. I'm sure we'll see it next year. I have to take a win. What my wife is No, you're not listening to me. It was last summer. Parents, you saw the airport. I want out. You hear me? I called out. I want out from this. Think I have time for more of your whining? Gang shootings? And that. Godforsaken auction fiasco. You've made both of us targets. You wanted to be mayor. Do your bloody job. You'll say what I told you to say. Your men took out Iraq. A fine mayor. Battling. Gang crime. Rose would be so proud. How dare you? Give me that damn video. You're out when I say you're out. Gave your speech? Now please, leave my hotel. I have more important matters than you. You've ruined me. I'm not gonna stand for it anymore. Are you listening to me, Lucky? Don't take warnings very well. You're a smart man. You should know when you're beaten. <laughs> that. 
that hit you ordered. My niece died in that car. Six-year-old girl. Oh. Is this what all the fuss is about? <clears throat> you must forgive me. You know, so many people come to me with the little problems. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep track sometimes. <laughs> He's gone. Young man, Mr. Pierce, just walk away. Live your life. I assure you, this room is impenetrable. So many people trying to catch you, including myself. You've been more elusive than we anticipated. Everything all right? Your concern is charming, but I'd concentrate on your escape right now. I came here for you. You think bulletproof glass is going to stop me? What are you doing? Watching an old man die. Bigger man than you have tried to destroy me.
expect me to pay? I can quit. On his knees. Beg all you want, that doesn't interest me. You don't even know why we attacked you. It was a mistake. We thought you wanted this. You were just sloppy. If you'd walked away, I would have forgotten you. What a lovely woman, Rose Washington. Wasn't for her death, where would I be? <laughs> Most women die without purpose. But she had enough sense to die in front of the camera. <laughs> See, and our mayor never tied you with his secrets. And stupid enough to fall in love. All of this. Lena's death. Because you didn't want to lose a puppet. Do you think you've won? You see, when I die, he'll build a statue. And you? The city didn't stop for your grieving family. Because you don't matter. Haven't you heard? I'm the vigilante. I clean up mess like you. dead. This is the part where I'm supposed to say I feel empty, right? I'd be lying to myself. I finally feel awake. Like I can breathe again. And Lena? Nothing can change her death. But maybe I can still do something that'll make a difference. T-Bone, it was Quinn after all. I'm uploading a video to you now. A video? Of what? You'll see. All units, all units. Air support is on its way. Hang on.
Why would Clara call you? You didn't know? She thought I'd trade for your sister. I think that's touching. I think it's fucking sad. How could you let her play you? Leave her, Damien. I'm serious. Leave her out of this. Did you forget? We're not partners anymore. All bets are on. Hello, Aiden. I can't decide where to begin. The first time I saw you, you were playing chess with Jackson in the park. Both of you feel very sad from the funeral. I could see how you made him feel safe. In our world, we hide in the dark, behind monitors. That's the only place we feel safe. It isn't enough to say that I didn't know. That lies would be lost or that it was only a job. I thought, if I could help you heal, help you find answers, maybe I could heal myself. But I can't. When this is all over, I hope we can at least talk. Or if not, at least I can't disappear. That's something I'm good at. What have I done? I brought this on, Clara. And all of this comes down to blackmail. Six-year-old girl dies because an old man wants to protect his secrets. Bloom, 
They can spin all they want to the press, but their hands are bloody. I'm done with secrets. Pierce, tell me you got everything you wanted because I'm fucking tired. It's Clara. She's... Hey, forget her. You got enough to worry about. She's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I'm on my way back. It's time to end all this. some of your stock. Figure that makes us even. Yeah, sure, of course. Take what you want. Fixes will be breathing down my neck soon. <sighs> I didn't even know Rose was dead. She should have just walked away. There's no evidence that Bloom arranged her death. Hell, Aiden. You don't know that they didn't. You know, I've seen a lot of things that don't add up. City deals, voter rigging, all it takes is one good PR team to sweep that all away. After Rose died, they created that. Now, I don't know the hows and whys of it, but that code is dangerous. Something about... I couldn't make much sense of it, but it was something about Bell or something. Bellwether. Hmm. That's what he wanted. You gotta burn that code, man. The rest of it, I don't care what you do with it. You know, Aiden, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about Clara. So am I. This whole thing is shit, no matter how you cut it. Careful, Aiden. When the lights go out, bad things tend to happen. Shocking footage has surfaced implicating Mayor Rushmore in the murder of a woman, Rose Washington. The woman was a former CTOS employee reported missing over a year ago. Mayor Rushmore has refused to comment, but a statement released by City Hall claims the footage is a fake made by the hacker group DedSec in order to discredit the mayor. So there I am, waiting for my train, 
when the lights go out. I guarantee you that's just the start of it. Damien has full access. Oh, for my dead body. I'm not gonna let my CTOF baby get cuffed up by that wackadoodle. There's a weak point he won't know about. Now get over there and shut it down. That'll end his joyride quick and pronto. I'll call you once I'm in. Nice to have you back. I do like being useful. CTOF. It really is a wonder of human ingenuity. A model system making a model city for model citizens. I wonder what Bloom said about potential hacks to the system. Sound debate, I'm sure. Hackers, oh, relax. Our CTOS is the most advanced blah 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 blah. Hubris, Aiden. It'll get you every time. But then you know that very well, don't you? CTOS system compromised. Police say Quinn died of a heart attack after a charity event in his five-star hotel, the Merlot. Shit. Can't get past the firewall. T-Bone might have an idea. He blocked us out. I need him disconnected fast. Well, shit. I got one idea, but last time I did it, people died. If we don't do it, people will die. What do you got? The whole network's tied to a satellite. Rums is kind of a safety valve to CTOS. I got a homemade virus. A real mean motherfucker. You gotta install it from three separate points. What does it do? It'll shut down your man. That's for damn sure. This could get ugly. You don't know the half of it, amigo. Call me when they're installed. We'll get it done right. Did you really think you could stop me so easily? I'm disappointed. I took you for someone more clever, but I forced to see. You're like everyone else. Ah, the silent treatment. You'll leave me an emotional wreck. And who knows what I'll do in such a state? <laughs> Come on! Aiden, impress me! What will you do now? Throw me off my game? Come on! You can do better. Damien screwed up the navigation. He's trying to slow me down. Focus on one location at a time.
have it, but then she's dead. Isn't she? Well, have at it, Aiden. Give me your best and I'll give you mine. And you can brag all about it in the afterlife. Done. Your viruses are in. All right, we're in it now. Do you head back to that weak point, right where we started? That'll open up for you like a lady's. Uh, never mind. You'll have a clear line to the satellite, and that's what's important. Okay, clear line to the satellite. You say that's the safety valve. And a little more. Once you're inside, you pull the trigger. Lights out, Aiden. And if we're lucky, and I'm as clever as my CV says, you'll get a lock on Damien's location. That's all I want. to see TOS. Enjoy the show. Give us 30 seconds. For what? 30 seconds inside TOS. We drop in our code. Then, when the system reboots, DeadSec will control the machine from inside. We will correct what boom is broken. 30 seconds is all we need. 30 seconds, no one knows? Our little secret? We will be the watchdogs. No. I'm tired of all the noise. We will not forget this. to a satellite from here, T-Bone's virus will reboot the entire system. It'll stop Damien. I'm gonna find him. Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who would think that, huh? 
But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Merlot job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. You're the only problem I see now, and I'm coming for you. Remember when you and I first decided to pool our talents? The schemes we were planning? <laughs> we had so much drive, but never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city! Now I'm spending my final hours standing on the Widow's Walk. That's what they call the lighthouse lookout. The Widow's Walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Come on. Surprise, surprise. You got a speech, Damien? Anything you want to say? You know who I am now. That's it? That's all you got? Hey, fuck you. Look at you. You plowed over people to get to a mob bar. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game, but sometimes you still lose. Oh, blah, blah. Oh, Jesus, you guys talk a lot. What are you doing here? Sorry, pal. New contract. Kick it over. What? Come on, kick it over. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. Up, 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 phone two. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix a little girl's death, but instead it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings, a broken city. And me, changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. Look forward. Everything is connected, and I'll use that to expose, to protect, and if necessary, to punish.
once again. Mayor Rushmore is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Bloom Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities, Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? He isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience. A study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Dead sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. And as the search continues for the vigilante known as the Fox, top brass in the Chicago Police Department are urging city and state governments to allow stricter penalties against those who commit crimes in the name of law and order. Anyone who follows in the Fox's footsteps will, quote, be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. City officials are picking up the pieces from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. I'm bleeding here. You? I'm holding up. I got one last bone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but 
I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed. Who deserves to die? Who decides that? some loose ends. <laughs> guys they're like nothing they ever seen before <laughs> you, you fucking think it's over no but now they have something to fear what the fuck what's wrong with you man huh? you're fucked you get that we're both fucked fucking show me maurice is living his own private hell He's a victim in all of this. And I've seen enough death. He's gonna get a second chance. We both are.
Thanks to you, CTOS Network has had a successful year. With CTOS Chicago setting the standard, we are proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in the new year. CTOS.